why you as an IT professional are probably one to two skill sets away from dramatically increasing your salary, your compensation, and you might not even be aware of it. So my name is Chris Garzon, and as the founder and CEO of Data Engineer Academy for three years now, I used to be a data engineer at Amazon, at Lyft, at some startups. I'm an angel investor in some data companies, and our mission is to help IT professionals and current tech professionals just like yourself enter or up level in their data career and earn significantly more than they are currently earning. And in this video, I'm gonna show you why you as an IT professional have a huge, huge advantage that you need to start taking advantage of. So the number one thing you need to know is that you actually have a competitive advantage as an IT professional. And that advantage, very simply put, is your years of experience. So let me explain what I mean. You, as an IT professional, have skills and years of experience that you can just reposition in order to become more competitive in the data market. So for example, if you're an IT professional trying to become a data engineer, you don't need to quit your job and go do a master's program or go, do, go back to college or whatever the case is, go get an internship just to try and get a data engineering job. Because the reality is you have all of these skill sets and all of these experience that you can just market, reposition, talk about on your interview and get that, not just your next job, but a better job. And so with IT professionals such as yourself, you probably already have the skill sets of architecture, engineering, debugging, building pipelines of some sort, moving data from place A to B, and working with tools such as shell scripting, Linux, all that good stuff. So as an IT professional, all you really need to know is what are your gaps, how can you fill them as quickly as possible, and what you can do on the interview to sound like you know what you're talking about. And so for you guys, the IT professional crowd, data engineering is one of those moves that you can do laterally upwards. So what I mean by that is don't just get your next job, get a better job. And in that, you will get a higher paying job instead of waiting at your current company to get promoted. And I see this all the time with IT professionals where there's a lot of self-doubt it's like hey can i really make that move and make that jump because for some reason they think that if you didn't start out as a data engineer or didn't start out as a data professional you're at a disadvantage but the reality is that as it professionals you're at a massive advantage because you have experience and skills that you can leverage and so we see this all the time where somebody who has zero years of experience actually goes and gets a data job and so there's no reason that you as an it professional should have any self-doubt this leads me to part number two, which is that you are most likely one skill away from making a massive jump in your skill gap. And what I mean by that is if you are an IT professional and you already have been working with Java, for example, and have been doing detailed pipelines, then maybe all you need to do is learn SQL and now you qualify as a data engineer. Maybe you already know SQL and you just haven't worked with any modern tech tools. So you need to go learn AWS. The advantage that IT professionals have is that they get to tap into the 80 20 rule which is you do 20 percent of the work for 80 percent of the benefit and for you guys that is typically in the form of like hey i just need to learn this one tool and now i've become extremely competitive in the market when trying to get a data engineering job. Most underrated tool specifically for IT professionals is SQL. IT professionals understand the concept of tech, of data, of moving data around, of infrastructure, and they just don't know the most important language, which is SQL. With SQL, if you spend 30 minutes a day, next thing you know, you're gonna look up in 60 days and you're gonna know an entirely new language. That's the mindset shift I want you all to have. It's like, yes, you need to learn a whole new language, but we're only talking about 30 minutes a day for 60 days, it's not that much. For IT professionals, that's a massive advantage. If somebody has no tech experience, it might take them four months to learn that SQL code just because they're gonna have imposter syndrome as they're learning their first language. As an IT professional, you probably are Already know coding language so you won't be intimidated by it you know as a bonus tip if you want to do some projects related to sql so that you can then put it on your resume that will also help you stand out in the crowd when you start applying for jobs part three we're going to talk about how exactly you can go from that it professional to a data engineer and the key is end-to-end -end projects 
From a roadmap standpoint, it's pretty simple. SQL, Python, AWS, data modeling, and some behavioral questions. But for IT professionals, what's really gonna stand out for you guys is that you guys have experience to leverage in your resume. So when you do end-to-end -end projects, you can actually put that in your resume and yeah, maybe you're bending the truth a little bit, but you're just updating the tools that you've already kind of been using. I'll give you an example. If you've been using Informatica or some other tool to do ETL pipelines, you can just modernize, upskill in AWS, use Kafka or Glue in your end-to-end -end side project, and then say you use that in your resume. Recruiters don't really care because as long as you know what you're talking about here and you have experience in doing a pipeline there, then you actually will be able to get the job done once you come in to the job that they're hiring. For IT professionals, this is the point that I think a lot of you guys miss, which is you do have an advantage. The advantage is all your years of experience that you don't have to go out and get. You can just reposition it and rebrand it, restory it. And part four, the final step is to just simply start applying. And by the way, biggest hack you can do in your head in order to make your application journey successful is simply changing your expectation. So instead of saying, hey, I'm gonna apply to 10 jobs and maybe get one interview, just assume that it's going to take 100 jobs for one interview, but it might take 10 interviews to get you a job. And that's okay. You only need one job. And yes, that if you're doing the math in your head, it means you have to do a thousand applications. The reason I think this is so important is because the biggest thing we see at our academy is people coming to us and saying, hey, I've been thinking about making this change for two, three, four years. And when we ask them like, what's been stopping you from doing that? It's literally like, oh, I don't know. It wasn't the right time. Oh, I got busy. I, I was just starting to dip my toes in the water. But the biggest problem with those statements is that underneath, and maybe you're feeling this right now, it's just the lack of confidence. And that's okay. I think that that lack of confidence comes from this crowd, this engineering crowd, trying to be perfect, trying not to mess up, overthinking in order to take that first step. But if you just set the expectation like, hey, I'm going to suck at this. I might have to apply to 100 jobs just to get one interview, then it's okay. And the biggest thing I see is that when people start to apply to jobs, they stop at application number five or number 10 or number 15. And we ask them, hey, how long has it taken for you to get to those applications? They say it took them two months. And I'm like, why? You could have applied to 15 jobs in an hour. I think this fear of trying to be perfect and trying to perfect everything is really stopping a lot of IT professionals from just going for that next role, even if they might get rejected over and over and over and over again. You don't need to be perfect. You just need proof that you can do the job that they say. And proof comes from taking action, taking action by doing real world projects, learning new skills, because once you do those things, they will give you the confidence, the confidence will show in the proof. So hopefully that's helpful, but really that fourth step is just to get started. So actionable advice, don't just sit there and stay silent, go out, do, create, share, share on Slack, share on Reddit, even if it's anonymous, if you're an introvert, just go out and put yourself out there. If you're not an introvert, put it on LinkedIn, start to build your LinkedIn profile. But if you are an IT professional, just realize that you're sitting on a gold mine and you don't need another degree. You don't need to quit your current job. You can do this part-time on the side and all you need to do is just get started. So if you're serious, then watch our next video at Data Engineering Masterclass just for you guys, just for current tech professionals. I think you'll enjoy it. And if you like this, please like, subscribe, share, do the whole thing so I can continue making content just like this. Cheers.